as the end of a semester rolls around. That means finals are approaching as well too. In order to combat the lack of sleep and motivation to study, more and more students are reaching towards a study drug. According to CenterForResearch.org, nearly 2.5 million Americans are prescribed to Adderall to fight ADD and or ADHD. ADD stands for Attention Deficit Disorder, which means that the brain is unable to concentrate. Adderall helps people to focus and study, which is why so many students, and especially college students, use it to learn and to study. Many studies show that college students use Adderall without being prescribed to it. They also found that students obtain Adderall typically from other students. When we're taking something that isn't prescribed to us, we can't necessarily be sure how our body will react to it. We haven't consulted with a doctor. We don't know if it's an appropriate medication for us to take. There's also legal implications to consider. You know, it's illegal to share medications. We want to be careful with how, you know, we get a hold of medications because if it hasn't been prescribed to us and it's in our possession, we're not allowed to have it. When talking to the University Police Department, they said that they had no accounts of people selling or abusing Adderall. I don't think it's right, mainly because it is a controlled substance, and I don't feel that people should just be off-selling their prescribed medication. But I do understand some people have like the real need for it that can't get the prescription. According to a study from John Hopkins University, Adderall use over the past few years has been on a rise among young adults. The question is whether or not Adderall use in college should be taken more seriously. For East Texas Explorer, I'm Danica Sauter.